comments. All right, all the first timers. All right, so welcome. With uh, I took over maybe three years ago, and one of the first questions I asked was, how can we take care of the judges? Now, the early years in Sam's Club, we've been at this six years now. We used to hand out Heinz four packs and, and some foil and stuff. And my joke about it is, is some of y'all still got the relics in the fridge. And the, uh, the situation goes where I talk to them about how can we show appreciation with something that you can actually use. Uh, we are very close to the gas station right here. Some of y'all travel for miles. Uh, you'll be getting a $25 gift card today as a, a token of our appreciation and a thank you to y'all. Now, the next question is, yes, after brisket, you can get $25 worth of ice cream inside. <laughs> All right. With, uh, with the Sam's Club, we're a very efficient, sort of a streamlined type of contest. We do 31 of these in 32 weeks. Most civic groups take about six months to plan out an event. It's me and a logistics man that pulls off 31 events in 32 weeks. That's why I'm skinny. Um, my, my magic trick is now you see me, now you don't. Um, with the event itself, we're very streamlined with the reps. We appreciate them accommodating because we have taken into account we are in a live corporate business parking lot. There's some nuances, um, uh, some extra uh, liability concerns. So we do not allow a lunch program so you don't get to take any, any food product home. If you got coolers during the break, please put them in your car. No social media at all. We have certain media, Barbecue TV, thank you for being here today. We always love seeing y'all, Mark, and, and uh, with Karen as well. And uh, with what y'all do with uh, the media and the social media, it's, it's basically about control. These folks are so hungry for knowledge that we don't want to give them something of, of, that they may not really be true. So we just want to keep our scores in here. If you think you've got all nines across the board and a 180, we really don't want you talking about your scores at all. Um, talk about the qualities of the, of the product that was turned in. But we don't want anything out of here. It's like Las Vegas. Consider this without the without the one-armed bandits, this being Las Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in the judges' tent stays in the judges' tent. Uh, we don't need that making it out to the teams and then the social media things and ways things spread. It, you know, it's like the little circle of kids, about a dozen of them, Jack and Jill went up the hill. By the time it gets around the circle, they got three kids, four alimonies, and who knows where they went on vacation. So, it, you know, it just gets twisted. Um, we want to make you as comfortable as possible. Back when I was ooh, about five years old, I'm 45 now, so that's why I had to think about it. My mom set me down at the end of a strawberry rope. We had a big garden. She went off to the sugar peas. With the sugar peas, she went over and tended to them, was picking them. But she had given me instructions with this basket to work my way down two different rows. I was down the middle of these strawberries. I was going down through there diligently. She'd look over, and all she saw was my better half. And as far as the event itself, or the, uh, the picking itself, I got about 10 feet from the end, and she wound up coming over and going, how you doing? What's in the Looking at what's in the basket. She looked in, saw six little bruised strawberries, and right about that time I turned and grinned, and they were all on my face. One el other thing she taught me in that, uh, in that garden was to put a wet towel on your neck when you're hot. So I've got you all these, these flower sack towels. The water container back here has ice and water in it. Don't use the drinking water. We don't want to do that, but dip it down into that ice water bring it out and put it onto your neck. It lowers your core temperature quite a good uh, number of degrees. We want you to stay as comfortable as possible so you can focus on those great teams that these teams are going to produce. Keep in mind, these are already teams that have uh, performed at the local round and been in the top six just to get here. They're already champions of sorts just to get to here. Now they're hoping to be in the top ten today. That means a one out of three chance of getting to the finals and competing for that big money. We know y'all are going to take your job seriously. I'm going to turn it over to the great reps and get out, uh, start handing out uh, cash and, and these uh, towels. You're in good hands. Enjoy. Barbecue me. That is presented to my eyes. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My, my nose. My hands. My hands. And my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty. I accept my duty. To be a Sam's Club Barbecue Tour judge. To be a Sam's Club Barbecue Tour judge. So that truth. So the truth. truth. Justice. Justice. Excellence in barbecue. Excellence in barbecue. In the American way of life. In the American way of life. May be strengthened and preserved forever. May be strengthened and preserved forever. Focus in on the box.
the end stick out too much on that one, that bone? Right here? No, the one you just put in there. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is our first category of the day here at Sam's Club Regional Finals. Um, I had six fantastic in chicken entries. The only thing I can say about, I mean, I can't say enough good things about them, but the only two negatives I can say is two of my thighs had, the skin was a little bit chewy, but other than that, this is the best chicken category I've had all year. It was fantastic. Yeah, I have to agree. Uh, my chicken was probably about as good as you can possibly get. My first entry, number one, uh, the appearance on, on all my, all six entries, the appearance was just amazing. But the uh, taste was also excellent, but the tenderness, my number one entry was a little bit mealy tasting. It just, I don't know, it just had a funny mealy taste in my mouth, so I had to mark slightly down for tenderness on that. Uh, entry number two was as perfect as you can possibly get. Uh, entry number three was excellent, except it had a strange taste. I don't know, I think it was in the sauce, but it had a taste I couldn't really put my finger on, but I, I, I was not a big fan of it, so I slightly marked it down for taste number three. Uh, number four was also an excellent entry. I had to slightly mark it down for tenderness. It was a little bit dry. Uh, number five was the same thing. It was another excellent entry. I had to slightly mark it down for tenderness because it was slightly dry also. And number six was just like number two, just a perfect chicken entry. You just couldn't get any better than that. All right, so we're talking about our first entry today and for being chicken. And the first one I really, really enjoyed. Uh, one comment, just a little bit less sauce. I could have uh, done with. I did not mark it down for that. It was a, it was a good chicken leg. Number two, again, another great chicken leg. I will say on this one, I uh, had a little spice afterwards uh, that's lingered with me for a while. Number three, the comment I have here is that I marked it up, down a little bit. I thought the sauce was heavy and there was just something within the sauce that did not sit too well. Uh, and my particular uh, was what I felt was heavy. Number four, Great flavor, um, a little tough, didn't have that bite through on the skin, and also was a little dry. Number five, again, a little markdown here just because it wasn't as bite through on the skin. Number six, uh, great flavor, really enjoyed that, um, a little tough, and uh, that's it. I guess we're talking about the individual entries. Uh, indeed, I agree this is one of the best sets of chicken I have judged. Uh, and that is the uh, highest marks I think I've ever done. The only thing I would mark down was uh, number three. Uh, when I tried to fork it, uh, it fell apart. And then I was on the plate. And the plate is in the taste It's just no better. I taste good. Otherwise, uh, great set. I'm Okay, starting with number one, there really wasn't a bad rib in the bunch. They were all absolutely outstanding. I would go with, uh, as far as my best ones, I would certainly go with number two, number four, and number six. Um, really, no problems with, with any of them. Uh, those were just my own personal favorites. 
my favorites were number one and number four. Both of them had really, I thought, really outstanding flavor. Uh, the tenderness was just a little bit off on both of them, number one being a little bit overcooked and number four being a little bit uh, undercooked. Uh, n- number three, that one was dry. Uh, flavor was fine, but uh, the dryness was the defining point on that one. Overall, I thought it was a very good uh, round of ribs. Uh, the uh, overall entries are very good. All six entries were good. Properly cooked. Uh, the difference for me was in favor uh, flavor profile. And my favorite uh, was number four and number five. All six of them were very well done. Uh, great job on them. Uh, very good flavor. Uh, my two favorites uh, actually were one and six, and it was a very difficult choice uh, between all of them, but uh, really good job with all of them. Thanks. Uh, all in all, a great cook uh, rib category. Uh, my favorite was number one. Uh, absolutely amazing. Tenderness was there. Flavor profile, amazing. Uh, and I'd say my least favorite was six. Uh, unfortunately, it tastes pretty good, but it was very fatty and a little too tender for my, t- my taste. So, uh, But again, great cook. Well, I generally make that decision when I see how many I got. What do you want to do? I say see what you get. I think that's a great choice. You like the middle? I like the middle. I like it. Don't get pushy, Lynn. My favorite was the uh, fifth one. It just had a really good taste. It was moist. It had a good chew to it. And the texture was just amazing. My least favorite was the first one. It was cold and it was dry and it just, I could not, it just was hard to eat being so cold as it was. Um, My favorite was the first one. (laughs) <laughs> I thought it was done perfect. Um, it had smoke, uh, moist. Um, my least favorite was probably number four and number six. The uh, money muscle pieces were well done, but the other chunks were kind of bland. Um, and the other three were sort of in the middle. The, the bark pieces were very good. The money muscle was nice and moist. Uh, but not quite as flavorful of the other pieces weren't quite as flavorful as number one well number one was my least favorite and um, I actually was commenting that it was very salty to me Uh, in contrast my favorite was number six because I think that the cook did a great job at balancing out whatever he did to flavor the meat, whether it was injection or marinade or or rub or whatever, without adulterating the flavor of the meat. So the honest flavor of the meat came through, including its seasonings and its enhancements, which always gets a high mark in my book because it's so easy to over flavor these meats and mask them so that it starts to resemble something that is far from the original meat. So I applauded that one because 
um, it tastes like an honest piece of pork. My, my favorite was obviously, I agree with most, it was number two and number six. Uh, the cook was really good. The others I thought were a little overcooked. The least favorite was number three. No flavor and just a little tough. For me, my favorite was fairly easily number six. Uh, I just thought it had great flavor, uh, great chew, great tenderness. I didn't have a, there wasn't one that I didn't like, if I'm being honest, so I can't really say a least favorite. Uh, I thought they were all fairly good. Number six was my favorite. It had a good smoke flavor, good tenderness. And they was all pretty decent. My favorite was number five because of the tenderness. Uh, it was well cooked, has good, great flavor. Uh, my least was number three. Uh, not very much taste, especially smoke. Uh, the chew wasn't good, nor the bite was good. I scored numbers two and five equally. Those were my two favorites. And on the other side of the equation, three and four, I thought were both overcooked and dry. I'm passing. Five was my most favorite. Had a great pull to it, great seasoning. Three was my least favorite, it was dry. I thought number one was perfect, it passed the pull test, had a good beefy flavor to it. And number five was a very good piece of beef too. I thought number three had a good appearance, but a little dry. Two was my favorite, it was um, flavorful passed the pool test. My least favorite was number four was dry. <laughs> Thank you.